Today we're going to take a look at a painting by Picasso called Child Holding a Dove from 1901. But this time, while I talk a little bit about the painting and what I think of it, I'm going to use it as a subject for doing my own painting of a painting. Let's take a look. I have on my computer desktop a whole load of artworks, mainly paintings, that I remembered from when growing up, artistically that is, when I was studying paintings and trying to work out who I was as an artist and what made a good painting. That was my main concern, being a painter primarily, rather than an artist in the more general sense, if you see the difference. When I went looking for all these images, my idea was to create a bunch of videos, one for each painting, to tell you something about it and something about what I thought of them and how they influenced me or didn't. I produced a few videos, which you can see on my YouTube channel, but I felt they were a little dry, perhaps a bit boring to look at, an image moving slowly on the screen, though I hope the content, what I said about them, was at least worth listening to. Still, I was looking for a new way to do things, and since the way I paint has recently changed, or rather evolved, as is always the way, to become an abstracted reflection of the subject rather than an illustrative expression, which is itself a subject for a further discussion, I saw that this gave me an opportunity to do something a little different. Painting in this way means that I don't worry about what the results look like. I'm no longer producing a copy, an illustration of what I see, but instead I use the subject as a starting point, a springboard, if you like, from which to extrapolate an abstraction, a reaction to it, rather than a depiction of it. Gone is the need to accurately represent the physical nature of the subject. Instead, pure expression. The subject itself becomes almost irrelevant, like a random seed where the outcome is always of a certain type, but unique in every way, dictated by that seed. So what I did was this. I printed a screenshot of my desktop, cut out all the tiny little images, folded them up and put them in a little plastic pot. Then I chose the first one at random to work from, to be my random seed, and the image that I picked was Picasso's child holding a dove. So what can I say about this painting? It's oil on canvas, about 29 inches high by 21 inches wide, painted in the autumn of 1901, nearly 120 years ago now. Funny how that makes it sound so old, but to me all these paintings from the first half of the 20th century seem pretty recent somehow. Maybe because I was born in the 1970s and so the Second World War was always looming somewhere in the background in the pre-1950s, so it didn't seem like it was that far away. First off, I should say that I don't actually like this painting. Don't like it at all. To start with, I find it rather sentimental, leaving a cloying taste in my mouth, so the subject is just not appealing to me in any way. Secondly, and for me more importantly, it's painted badly. Now, this is typical Picasso from whatever era you look at of his work. Picasso didn't give a damn about paint, by which I mean using the medium itself as a vehicle for expression. His thing was image. If you study his works from the beginning to the end, as I have, you'll see that. But what I found when I was trying to work him out was quite interesting. If you think about it, as a child and young man, he had complete mastery over the techniques employed by painters to produce the kind of traditional effects and appearance of a painting. You can see his early works going through various styles, copying this painter and that, simply emulating the way they painted. Now, it seems to me that he had no problem with this at all, found it pretty easy in fact. And you must also remember that his father was a painter too, and an art teacher, so no doubt he passed on all the tricks of the trade that young Pablo needed in order to achieve the look of any style of painting. So imagine this. You're a young artist, late teens, early twenties, and all the styles are superficial ways of applying paint to canvas that your forebears have struggled with and worked on in order to solve the problems that painting poses, you have mastered in but a few years, before you've really even grown up. So you become a young man or woman and find that you can do everything that hitherto artists have pretty much spent their whole careers trying to get to grips with. And you're like, so what now? Well, for Picasso, paint itself clearly held no great interest. He'd been there, done that, painted the t-shirt. What got Picasso going was the image you ended up with at the end of the day, whatever style or technique you used to achieve it. 
So here he is, 20 years old, trying to find a new way of doing things that maintains his interest. This really started with his blue period paintings, kind of 1901 to 1904. Generally these are quite passive paintings, not a lot of oomph if you know what I mean. They become quite stylized in the end, but sentimentality is the one word that I would use to describe them. This painting, Child Holding a Dove, is one of the earlier blue period paintings. When I was studying paintings hard as a young man, this is one of the paintings I would regularly see, since it is in the National Gallery in London, one of my primary haunts at the time, and I always disliked it. Aside from its sentimentality, the paint, which was always my main interest as I said, is awful. The surface looks like it's been painted over something else for a start, which leads to confusion over what the painter's actually trying to express. But as I've said, that was not what Picasso was trying to do. He clearly couldn't care less what the paint was doing. So what you end up with is a painting that looks almost coloured in. Paint, in this case, is simply a way to get colour on the canvas and nothing more. When you look a bit closer, it is even more obvious. Once the colours were applied in a rather uninterested way, the image is then completed by simply drawing it on top. The black lines you can see, all very sketchy, are simply outlines, a line drawing on top of the filled in colour fields. Yes, sure, there is a little attempt at superficial texturization on the dress, but just look at the feathers in the dove's tail. Terrible. And the hands, too. It's just a sketch on top of the rough hand shape he filled in. As well as all of that, there is this sash thing, scarf, whatever it is, that she's wearing around her waist, which falls to the side. I never understood it, just couldn't tell what it was at all. It just didn't seem to fit or make sense pictorially. In fact, I never even knew what it was until I started this and was forced to work out what it was meant to be. It just doesn't really work. A big blob of blue to her left? Why? What? And she's just kind of floating in space too. Her feet aren't rooted firmly on the ground. I just don't get where she is, what she's doing there. There's also the ball, no doubt a precursor to all the circus based paintings he did a few years later. But is all this just the accoutrements of a kid? Frankly, it's clunky, sentimental and painted badly. The best that can be said for it is that the composition, the mechanics of holding the image together, does work. But that's about it. I know that's not what you're meant to say about a work by Picasso, but just don't think of it like that. This is a 20 year old kid trying to do his thing, and on this occasion, his thing just isn't that great. So before we take a look at what I've got done, let's choose another picture. Marcel Duchamp's Nude Descending a Staircase, number two. Great. So now here's my reaction to Pablo Picasso's Child Holding a Dove. 